Hi everybody, in this video we are going to introduce our kinematic equations. Previously we learned about distance, displacement, speed, velocity, and acceleration, and all these quantities describe the motion of the object. If we know enough information about the motion of an object, we can start calculating how far an object traveled, how fast it started moving, how fast it will be moving later, how much the object is accelerated by, and how much time it took. All this can be done using the kinematic equations. Here are the four kinematic equations that describe an object's motion. First kinematic, displacement with constant acceleration. It says displacement equals to one half times the initial velocity plus final velocity times change in time. The second kinematic is sometimes labeled as the final velocity with constant acceleration. It says the final velocity equals to the initial velocity plus acceleration multiplied by the change in time. The third kinematic is sometimes labeled as the position with average acceleration. It says the displacement equals to the initial velocity multiplied by the change in time plus one half multiplied by the acceleration multiplied by the change of time squared. And the fourth kinematic is sometimes uh, labeled with velocity with constant acceleration. It says final velocity squared equals initial velocity squared plus two times the acceleration times the displacement. First thing I do want to mention is that they're not formally called first, second, third, and fourth kinematic. This is just a way I've begun. Uh, this is just a way I have been organizing them, which allows me to easily reference them later. Second, we were just introduced to four new equations. It would be helpful to know when to use each equation. Let's go to our first example. A biker accelerates west uniformly from rest to 8.1 meters per second in 3.4 seconds. Find the displacement. To determine which kinematic would be helpful, we need to identify the information that is given. Since it starts from rest, the initial velocity is 0 meters per second. It accelerates to 8.1 meters per second west. Just to be clear, the object is accelerating, but we don't know what the actual acceleration is. We do know that it will reach a velocity of 8.1 meters per second. This all happens in a time of 3.4 seconds, and the problem is asking for displacement. We look at the four quantities mentioned in this problem, initial velocity, final velocity, time, and it's looking for displacement. Looking at the four kinematics, it looks like the first has all these variables. Let's go ahead and put these values in. We get delta x equals to 1 half times 0 meters per second minus 8.1 meters per second, or you could also write that as plus negative 8.1 meters per second times 3.4 seconds. After some calculations, we get an answer of negative 13.77 meters or 13.77 meters west. Let's try one more example. An object already moving at 4.7 meters per second east has an acceleration of 2.5 meters per second squared for 7.1 seconds. How far does it travel? Since the object is already moving at 4.7 meters per second east, this is the initial velocity. The acceleration is 2.5 meter per second squared. The time is 7.1 seconds. Again, it's asking how far it travels, which is referring to the displacement. Since we have the initial velocity, acceleration, time, and we're looking for a displacement, the third kinematic would be helpful. Let's plug in everything. We get delta x equals 4.7 meters per second times 7.1 seconds plus 1 half times 2.5 meters per second squared times 7.1 seconds raised to the second power. We get a displacement of 96.38 meters east. Last couple things to note before we conclude this video. The kinematics presented in this lesson are in the x direction, but kinematics also work in the y direction, that is, objects that rise up and or fall. 
It does require a few small edits to the kinematics, but it still works and will be covered in the video on freefall. Otherwise, this concludes the video on kinematics. Hope you found it helpful.